Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aquarius for October of 2019. Um, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. So stay tuned. And I do um, pull some cards throughout the energy healing, so you will get more messages there. Uh, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as you can follow me over on Facebook if you are on Facebook. Good stuff happening in the Turning Pain into Power Facebook group over there. All right, let's see what we have going on for you. Oh, I'm liking this so far. Also, if you haven't heard about it, I do have the Divine Empress Club, which is where I do readings and energy healing every single week. So if you're interested in working with me more, uh, I get to know you, get to do live tarot with you uh, and stuff like that. It is in the description box. There's a little link that tells you a lot more and also in the comments below. I'm feeling like this month be, might be like a little slow because I feel like these cards are taking a little bit of time to come out. So it might be time to slow down this month and really kind of take a breath. Like smell the roses is what I'm getting. I feel as though September might have been a really busy month for you or um, an overwhelming month for you. And this might be the month to kind of just slow down a little bit. All right. And please remember these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And you can also check out your moon and rising signs as well. So you have the judgment card. So again, slowing down, but in this reading with the judgment card, I'm going to say um, really kind of stay to yourself this month, like uh, thoughts wise. So really pay attention to you and how you're feeling rather than what other people are doing or saying or making you feel. Um, really kind of just take any, so they're giving me two things here. So take it back to you. So take, take the power back basically is one thing. Second thing is release any judgment you have on yourself. Others, of course, but also on yourself. So I want you to be very aware of what judgment are you placing on yourself? What are you feeling about who you are or what you've done? Um, and they're asking you to release that at this time. So please, you know, dive into that and see how you're judging yourself and definitely let go of it. In the beginning of October, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the World card, and you have the Sun. So um, it's definitely taking some work here, but there, there's some healing coming in for you, especially with the World and the Sun. I feel as though you've taken a step to... Um, Heal what is hurting. The pain from the past is what I'm feeling with the Queen of Cups. You've, you've opened yourself up to receiving the healing that you need in order to move forward. So because I can see here that there's been some conflict in the past, a uh, lack of trust, but I feel like you're trying. You're trying to open up. You're trying to Oh man, I'm feeling like a very contradictive energy. So it's like you're trying to open up, but you're trying to stay so in control. And if we, I feel like we just have to merge them together in order to get where you want to be. So just be aware of, there just needs to be some healing. So definitely watch some of the energy healings on here. Um, you can check them out. Also, I have a, I think I have a few other ones on this channel or you can join the Divine Empress Club. Um, there's like 30 or 40 healings in there, but I definitely feel like there has to be some healings because yeah, they're making me feel like you're too open and then you're shut off. So I'm not sure where you fall in that aspect or if you're both, like maybe you try to be open, but you're really not as open as you think you are. I think that's the message that they're trying to get through here is that you think you're open to the world. You think you're open. Your heart chakra is open, but I really feel as though there's so much protection around it that it can't truly be open. Okay. So let me know what you think about that. But in the middle of the month, you've got the six of cups. You've got the eight of cups. You have the four of pentacles and you have the five of wands. So this is about you getting your light back, walking towards something that you want, but it's very hard for you. This is what I'm trying to say. It's like 
look at very contradictive energy where it's like this is beautiful and peaceful and in alignment and then you've got crazy conflict not trusting over here in the same line so in the middle of october this is where i think you're going to feel this resistance um we do have the full moon coming in on the 13th of october so definitely you might be feeling some kind of way throughout that full moon let it pass be easy with yourself but also I feel as though it's really about clarity for you for the, with this moon. So be very clear. Um, journal a lot is what they're saying to me in this full moon energy because you're going to gain a lot of awareness about yourself and there's like an epiphany that I'm, think, that I'm getting that you're going to like be all of a sudden like, oh, that's what it's been all, all the time, the whole time. Right. So I feel like there's an epiphany coming in the middle of the month because you're feeling so much resistance from your higher self versus your ego. So who you want to be or who you really are and who you're fearful of being, trying to be uh, wherever the ego right, lies. Coming into the next part of the month, at the end of the month, after all that, you have the devil and you have the higher font. You got the Page of Swords and you have the Justice card. So for some of you at the end of the month are definitely going to be dealing with a narcissist. Um, it could be your spouse because you do have the higher font right next to it. Be weary of any kind of um, people that you're getting advice from. Make sure that they're not toxic themselves because with the higher font, that's like a therapist, psychiatrist, um, uh, priests, uh, anybody that you're seeking advice from. Make sure that they don't have that energy. Make sure that they have pure, loving, uh, encouraging, peaceful energy so that, you know, it doesn't rub off on you. So just be weary of any toxic energy, especially with someone that you trust um, towards the end of the month here. And make sure that you put your boundaries up. And if it feels icky, let it go. If it feels... Um, like something doesn't fit, then let it go. Um, even with Reiki, even with Reiki, sorry, there's some noise outside. Um, even with Reiki um, practitioners and stuff, if you walk in and you can feel the energy and it doesn't feel right to you, turn away and walk out. You don't want anyone messing with your energy. And the same goes with people and work. And remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and check out your moon and rising signs. But definitely uh, watch out for the toxicity at the end of the month. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and do some energy healing here. I am being, I'm being pulled to, towards the world card and the six of cups and eight of cups. So I'm going to work with that energy to really kind of put light around you, uh, put a lot of light around you and that healing energy. Um, so if you've never done energy healing with me before, all you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to some music. And I am going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions with inside. Um, so therefore go ahead and take, or go ahead and find a comfortable space. I'm going to pause the video and close my windows for a minute. Okay. Now that that is done. All right, so go ahead and get comfortable and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And then take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And go ahead and take another deep breath in. Give your body a nice stretch. And let it out. All right, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. The, the energy that I'm feeling here is messiness. I feel like this reading has been a mess um, with things just kind of happening throughout it. The music, um, the, the, this type of music is not my particular normal, but I love this kind of music and hopefully you could hear that uh, where I just felt like the energy was going in and out of your energy field and around your chakras. So it is very powerful, but um, the message that I feel they want to bring through is that even though it's messy, even though it's uncomfortable, it is still getting you where you want to go because you do have the Seven of Pentacles, the Empress card, and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning here and you are on your way to it is what I'm feeling. Um, if you haven't received it yet, but I feel like you're working towards the new beginning that you want and by taking care of yourself and treating yourself with the love and the care that you need and realizing that this is a process and that it's not an overnight success. Excuse me. It takes time and energy to get to where you want to be in life. So therefore, when you can fully accept that things start to change around you. And I, I truly feel like that's what's happening. There's a lot of light in this, this reading. You can see these crystals here. The world is here. The sun is here. There's a lot of light. So in your darkest days is what I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> just realize that there is light there and that you have it within. You have it on the outside. So you might need to tap into somebody else's if you're not feeling it within inside of yourself. But realize that there's so much love and light um, so great energy inside of you that is just waiting to be tapped into. So try to find that with inside of yourself and especially on your dark days, on the days that you're not trusting, on the days that the resistance comes through, on the days that the ego is attacking. Make sure that you realize there's so much light here. There's so much worth living. There's so much inside of you that hasn't even been shown yet. So when you start to get on that journey to find that within, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I think that's the message they have for you this month. You can let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the energy healing and also give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it, if it resonated with you and you <clears throat> please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out the Divine Empress Club, that stuff is below. So much love to you. I hope you have a wonderful October and just find your light find your light. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.